I have so many questions to ask you, Janelle. How are you, by the way? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm awesome. This is your first, you've done interviews before, but this is your first radio interview, right? Yes, correct. All right. You are known for, if you guys don't follow uh, Janelle Eliana, you're known for living and traveling in, the, in, this, in your van, right? Yeah. I've been doing it for about two years. And some people think you're a paid uh, actress just doing this for a bit to get attention for a stunt, whatever. That's true or false? False. 100% false. I started living in my van for about a year before, or two years before I started my channel. So there's, that's it. <laughs> you want to hear something crazy. This You started posting, like you started your YouTube channel, what, two months ago? Or your first video about this was two months ago, something like that? Yeah, I posted my first video June 26th. And you had, how many? I don't know how many followers. You, you said you had about... About 8,000 followers on Instagram two months ago. About 3,000. 3,000 followers yeah. two months ago on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Then you post the first of five. You only, you only have five videos on YouTube now. So you posted the first of five videos two months ago. Now you have 1.9 million followers. Yeah, 1.9 million subscribers and about 300,000 Instagram followers. That's mind-blowing. Insane. I'm, what do you think? I mean, they've you you've caught lightning in a bottle. You've done something here. What do you think the attachment is? Your fans to go from two months to now one point nine subscribers off of five videos. What do you think it is? Like, what is the the, the secret formula? Yeah, what it mean? You've you've tapped into something. I'm not sure, honestly. I just started making videos about my life, and I guess a lot of people relate to it or appreciate the authenticity. Um, it is it is a definitely a different niche that not a lot of people are exposed to. Like living in a van is really foreign to a lot of people. So especially at my age and the fact that I live with a pet snake and just like multiple factors. <laughs> the that... snake. Oh my God. <laughs> I got questions about the snake in a few minutes. Do you plan to, uh, you know, at some point, and we talked about this off air a moment, but do, do you, let's say it on the air, do you plan to you know, move out of the van and get you a spot because your business is booming now. You're doing pretty good. I mean, people are making way less than you get living in all kind of crazy and way more than you. I'm sorry, let me rephrase it. People are making less than you in apartments now, but you're choosing to stay in the van, correct? Yeah, I, I love the lifestyle. That's the reason that I started and I don't plan on settling down anytime soon. I want to build another van and continue to travel internationally. Janelle Eliana is in the studio. She, of course, has her YouTube. Hey, plug, let's plug the YouTube channel real quick. What do people need to know? It is at Janelle Eliana, and I just document my life living and traveling in a van. Same thing with the Instagram? Yeah, it's Janelle.Eliana. Gotcha. And once again, she cruises everywhere in this van. Let me start with the questions again, because I'm super fascinated. Here we go. You're in this van cruising around. We got that part. You have a, a pet snake in the van, too. Yes, Alfredo. Alfredo. Now, it, I'm a bit, you know, I'm not the best snake dude you know so questions about the snake not poisonous i'm guessing right no not at all any danger with this snake is there any kind of could anything go wrong no he's just too cute that's it that's what they all say though <laughs> <laughs> so with this snake you said the snake at one point like my question was off air that uh, has it has the snake ever got got lost like did you misplace the snake in the van or you can't find him which would frighten me because a you lost your pet b maybe he's going to jump out and you know so you said you lost the snake once. Yeah. One time I was in a Whole Foods. I went to Whole Foods and I left his cage open while I was grocery shopping. And I came back and he was gone. And I dismantled the whole van in the Whole Foods parking lot. Looked so insane. And I just had a gut feeling that he was in the liner. And I got my drill and basically dismantled the van. And he was just chilling behind some insulation and wires. Good it's Lord. And uh, it, we're, the snake right now, is that a friend's house? He's at a friend's house right now. Yeah, it's been a little hot in, in SoCal. Okay. Next set of questions here. God, there's, you're super fascinating, Janelle. When you have this van, you're cruising around. Is it a specially made van or is it just a normal van? Like, did you, you keep saying you took it apart, you made some adjustments or whatnot. Is it just a van I could buy at the store or what kind of modifications did you make to it? Well, it's, it's an older conversion van. It's 1995. It was just a van that was used to like take your family on road trips. I had captain chairs and it was just like a regular van. I took out everything in the back and just built a bed, did the floors. I have vinyl floors that I'm really proud of. And I built Alfredo's tank and a sink, just made it like livable. And uh, okay, this, and you're talking about doing this trip around the world basically, but you haven't to date been out of California yet, right? Except for Vegas, right? Yeah, that, that is true. 
All right, so once you get this, when you get this trip going, you're going to buy some crazy next level kind of van. What's this whole, what's the plan here? Yeah, I want to buy a military truck. It's called a Unimog, and I just want to equip it with everything that I need to travel from Alaska to Argentina. And where, yeah, where are you going to go? Alaska, Argentina, where, where's, give me the kind of the full breakdown here. Where are you going to go? Well, I'm going to build out the van in Cali and then make my way up to Alaska, not really sure where, and then go all the way back down through South America. I know between Colombia and Panama, there's not really a road to go through. So we're still working out the kinks on that. And then I want to make it to the Solar Eclipse Festival in Argentina, which is in Patagonia, and Expedition to Antarctica. It's a really ambitious trip, but I'm going to try to make it work. What's your dad's thoughts on all this stuff? He just told me to get a guard dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is your van, it's it's here, right? Yeah, it's here. It's in the parking lot. And you said, we we uh, we uh you told us that the van was a little too big to park in the Kiss garage. So this van is massive, to my understanding. It's not that big, but it is too big to get into a garage. I've seen bigger vans for sure. Plug the channels, all your socials again. It, my YouTube is at Janelle Eliana and my Instagram is at Janelle.Eliana. She's got five videos up on YouTube. Only five, already 1.9 million subscribers. People love you, man. That's crazy. Five videos to that? I mean, who knows this time next year what it's going to be. Oh, I am so anxious. <laughs> what are your fans like? I mean, have you had the fan encounters yet? I assume my first, the first thought comes to mind for me is fans, they must follow you around because you're driving all the time. Uh, there she is. Let me follow, see what happens. Yeah, I've met most of my fans in person just as I'm walking, doing my day-to-day -day task, but I've had one fan follow me. I don't know how long she was following me for, but she was super sweet. I, I haven't had any negative experiences yet. All right. And uh, God, are you having fun? Is it a blast doing what you're doing? Oh, I am having the time of my life. And you have no plans to get any sort of apartment or house at this point. I mean, clearly the business is going good. You could if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, eventually I do want to build a little tiny home and start a farm. But right now the next project is building another van. All right. And this van is a, you said a military van that's going to be converted to, to, what, you're, to what you need, basically? Yeah. A military van that is equipped with everything I need to do international travel. Oh, my God. That sounds expensive. Is a military van crazy expensive or what's the range on that? Um, they they range from cheap to really expensive, um, but I'm going to try to keep it cheap and just build as I go. At the end of every interview, Janelle, fist bump to make it official. Give me a little bam.